Welcome to Ridingful.com. In this video, we'll discuss about how to move issue in Jira and why we will need to move any specific issue in Jira and we'll see here with practical example. So if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Let's jump to our Jira project where our defects are lying here. So before proceeding further, let's understand why it is required to move any specific issue in Jira. So whenever we are talking about any defect and that defect is locked inside a different project but we want to move it to the our particular or actual project then we will need to move that defect in other project. So we must have to move issue permissions for the project that has the issue that we want to move it. We must have the create issue permission for the project that we wish to move our issue to. If we do not have either of these permission, we need to contact to Jira administrator who will move the issue. For moving any particular issue, there are several components are lying or there are several wizards allow us to change certain attributes of the issue. That is issue type. So if issue is a custom issue type that does not exist in our target project, we must select a new issue type. We can also select to arbitrarily change the issue type. Issue status. We may have set up custom issue status as a part of workflow if we have assigned a custom status to our issue and it does not exist in our target project. We must select a new issue status for our issue. We cannot arbitrarily change the issue status that is the option to change the issue status will only appear if we are required to change that. Custom fields. If we have defined required custom fields that our issue does not exist in our target project, we must set the value of them. We will only be prompted to enter the value of required custom fields in the target project that is missing value. To move an issue, we just have to select a particular issue and from three dots, we can click on move. So it will ask for the project type in which project we want to move it. So right now it's lying in this project. You can select this one and then you can change the issue type. So either of one of them or you can keep as it is and click on next. Now there's a four steps are available. You have to map status, update fields and confirm changes. Once you'll perform all of these in accurate manner our issue will be moved to particular or different project whenever it is needed so let's wait for the uh, this issue to be mapped or confirm then now you can see it's already mapped so if the status is a uh, to do list then it is required to map status otherwise it will ask for the update fields if any update field is required like uh, destination bug issue may be a different field setting that our source project. So whenever update value of the field in, in these issue or select retain to keep the fields current value component or versions field data is permanently lost. So here you can update the field or click on next. Once you click on next it will ask for the confirm your changes and once it will confirm our project will be updated according to what we have set it. So this is how we can update or move the issue according to our need. So if our issue moving will have related to different issues. If your issue has subtask the move issue wizard will also move the subtask to the target project. If we are moving an epic the move issue wizard will not move the issue in the epic. The epic and the issue in the epic will still be linked to each other but the issue in epic will remain in the original project. We will need to move them separately. So that's all about moving an issue from one project to other. 
and setting their parameters. So that's all about moving issue in Jira. Hope you liked it. If you really enjoyed this session, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Thank you for watching.